So Adriana, this one for you. So Adriana, I never had a problem with you. This story that you concocted in your head, the day that you brought Donovan to our fucking apartment or our, not even ours, our elders home to get his chart read. And this man fell asleep for hours like he had narcolepsy. And Kresharba was like, I'm going to focus on you and I'm not even going to worry about this man who is not present. And then when you walked out the door, I guess you felt some type of way. And then you act like we was acting different. I wasn't thinking about you. I was going through family shit. You concocted this whole fucking psychotic story in your head. How do I know? Hannah mentioned it. Oya mentioned something subtly about it. So that means you're over there like, huh? Huh? What's going on? What's going on? Instead of fucking being an adult. Like Hannah told you last summer when she said, Hannah, she told you, I talked to them and they all right. You should talk to them too. I own my shit. You should own yours. But again, young ladies hopping on ill dick. Got y'all sleepy as fuck and disrespectful to an elder. And then you can't even fucking put your ego aside. And apologize. And you out here emotionally manipulating everybody else. Little girl. Everybody that you brought in up under you. We had to watch the fucking. Fucking pattern. That because of your little nasty ass shadow. And everybody that followed from up under your umbrella. We had the same issue with them. That we had with you. So again don't play with me. And the ancestors they some good teachers. So it tells me. The shadow on your ass. And the mental illness on you motherfucker is big. And we tried to help your yellow ass. And I'm not calling you bunny because this little <laughs> bunny shit, that's the demon. That little naive shit, that's that demon. And I ain't fucking with it. Go deal with your mother. Because you are out here causing chaos. You shouldn't be massaging out a motherfucking soul. You ill. I know you ill, because if you weren't no more, you would know how to fucking what? Have a conversation. See, I added you, thinking you were going to be a grown-up, and do it. I was giving you a fucking olive branch, letting you know, we're good. Hannah told you, we talked. She said, y'all good. You should call her. You never did. So again, y'all keep going to all these fucking ceremonies, not knowing shit about shit. Because you won't fucking really talk to your ancestors. And you won't fucking deal with your mental health or your fucking shadows. This community can't fucking heal because y'all won't sit in y'all shit and shut the fuck up and stop fucking. And I'm not talking about stop fucking for a year. Stop fucking for a decade. Get the goddamn illness off you first so you can see what's you and what's some fucking body else. While you up here touching on niggas. That's why us women can't have a real fucking sisterhood. I fucking sent people to you for clientele. I was telling other women, hey, even though I'm not talking to her, she's still safe. You are the nasty motherfucker. And y'all keep trying to project that shit onto me and my sister. Fuck all y'all. Again, I'm going to show y'all niggas healing Chiron and Gemini. Truth. Clear with my words. Shame on y'all. Shame on you as an elder to other people. Shame on you for laying hands on people knowing you fully ain't dealt with your shit and you can't say it. We don't have to be perfect out here doing this work. But we got to own what it is. Or we going to keep transferring these demons back and forth to each other. Causing chaos in this city. Hurting these children. That's why every woman you brought to us can fucking finish. You couldn't. And I know it's in your yellow ass. But it's sad to sit here and watch all the fucking women. Can't keep, stop losing yourselves and fucking ill, undoing, not doing work, dick. 
looking for approval and validation for bullshit. No mas, no more. So this is me in this new moon energy still floating because I'm a Virgo rising, cutting a motherfucking energy cord. Publicly, privately, all of it. I'm not mad at you. I'm not disappointed. Wow. Nothing has to, I, you don't need my validation. But I will not let none of y'all continue to be disrespectful and project. Hey there. And then not be able to stand in your shit and apologize and be grown us. Baby, we all going to become emotionally, mentally, and spiritually more mature. Bet on that if you going to sit up here and keep my name in your mouth. And your energy still entangled in mine? Fuck no. We going to detangle that motherfucker today. So, to the little buttercup. If you respectful to me and you see me on the streets, I will be respectful to you. But everybody keep my name out your mouth. If you ain't grown up enough to have a fucking verbal conversation face to face and let some real healing take place, shut the fuck up. Cutting the cord. Peace.